Hey, Rosebank Union Church. Well, this morning we all woke up to the reality of a completely new way of living. As I was listening to the President's speech last night, I was deeply moved by the concern for human life, for our fellow citizens, for our economy, and also to the call to prayer. And we, just like everyone else, have now been figuring out just how to go on living in this new reality. So you'll remember last week we were pouring all our efforts into creating an online platform to help you continue to engage in meaningful worship on a Sunday. And I'm just so proud of what our team put together and so pleased at how many of you engaged with that on Sunday. As we've looked at kind of the numbers, it seems like pretty much the people that would have turned up at Rosebank Union gathered together in homes, if not more. And I just want to thank you for that and encourage you to continue meeting together in your homes, of course, as we continue to broadcast our Sunday services to you. So this week, our focus and our call to action is to prayer. I heard a story on my way to church this morning of these farmers in rural America, you know, kind of where it snows a lot of how during a really heavy snow season, farmers would tie a rope from the front door of their house to the door of their barns. And this would help them kind of navigate from the house to the barns where the animals are in these heavy snowstorms. And it really made me think, man, that's kind of crazy. These guys live and work in that same place for years. Surely they know how to get around even in a snowstorm. And then I realized, hey, this morning we woke up to life in a completely new reality. And sometimes circumstances around us can change so quickly and so dramatically that we can end up getting completely disorientated. Um, even if it, we're living in a familiar space, so we're still going to be in our homes even more so, still working. But th the world has changed so much now. And you, the opportunity is there or the, or the uh, potential for complete disorientation. And so what we really need is we need, a, we need a rope to hold on to. Something to help us navigate uh, our daily lives despite the crazy circumstances around us. And we really believe that that rope is simply a commitment to the word and to prayer. Now, I realize for some of you that might sound just a little bit simplistic, that at complex times like this, we need, we need thoughtful engagement, uh, we need an action plan, and, and that's to be sure that's true. But if we believe that we can get through this crisis just with our own clever thinking and not having to cast ourselves fully on God in prayer, then I think we're deluded and we'll wake up and find ourselves completely disorientated. And so I want to call you to pray. And how's how we going to do that this week? Here are three ways that you can pray this week. Number one, set an alarm every single day for 2.46 p.m. Uh, alarm on your phone or your watch, and, and that's going to prompt you to simply to pray. And just wherever you are, whatever you're doing, doesn't have to be a long prayer, just shoot up a prayer for your family, your friends, for your business, for your colleagues, uh, for our country, for the world. Pray 2.46 every day. Why 2.46? Well, Acts 2.46 is kind of our, our motto verse for the season uh, as we do church at home. So set an alarm for 2.46 and pray every day. Secondly, send us your prayer requests. Uh, we have an online prayer portal on our Lift the Sale page where you can send in your detailed prayer requests, as detailed as you want them to be, if you want to keep them anonymous. Uh, this is particularly for people uh, who might get sick. And Rosebank, we want to say to those of you who get sick that we're, we're ready for you, we love you, and we're ready to pray for you and care for you. So send us any of your prayer requests on that prayer portal. Thirdly, is we are going to be having an online prayer meeting. So that's going to happen tomorrow night, Wednesday night, an online prayer meeting. It's going to be via Facebook Live. So to get there, you're going to go to the church's Facebook page. And there is a link to the uh, Lift the Sale Facebook group. Join the group. Log in at 7 o'clock Wednesday night and join our prayer meeting where you'll be able to engage and send prayer requests. And we are going to pray together as a church. I want to close off by just reminding you of the passage that we saw uh, last week in our series. Ephesians 5 verse 1 to 2 says, Therefore be imitators of God as beloved children, and walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us. And kind of the prayer at the end of that message was that prayer from Romans 5, that God would pour out his love into our hearts through his Holy Spirit. And the hope or the anticipation there was that people would have a real tangible experience of the love that God has for them. 
And what makes that really important in this season, and that might, might sound again just all kind of airy fairy, but what makes that really important is First John four verse sixteen: perfect love casts out all fear. So let's walk in love this week, and I look forward to seeing all of you in my lounge for prayer meeting, all one thousand of you uh, tomorrow night. Cheers.